Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Monday, Fe what? wow, wow, Monday, March 4th. <laughs> I wanted to say February. No, we are in March, uh, March 4th, 2019. This is a general energy reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is not anything specific. This is not love, sign, career specific, anything like that. This is literally just what spirit wants to discuss with us today. And because energies are fluid, this could be something that's coming down the pipeline. This could be something that's happening for you now. This could be something that's happened in the past, or it doesn't have to be anything that has happened for you at all. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Yeah. You can go ahead and follow me on Instagram at divine underscore conversations and check me out on Facebook at Divine Conversations 2711. Also, just a little bit of a disclaimer. We did get some snow last night. So if there are like lots of loud scratching noises or what scraping noises or something like that, people are shoveling outside. So just, just so you know. Okay, here we go. Let's do it, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, March 4th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. I hope everyone had a good weekend. Yesterday was a 3-3-3 day, which was quite cool. Um, I was planning on doing some some of the Zodiac readings, but by the time I was able to actually like sit down and get to it, um, there was a bunch of commotion, which was just gonna be distracting. So I just decided to take the day to just relax and have some fun. I'm going to get back to the Zodiac readings today. I'm, I'll be getting those out throughout the week. I should have them done by Friday, but we'll see. So anyway, I hope everyone had a good weekend. I hope everyone um, enjoyed yesterday. And I don't know if maybe it was intense for some of you. Go ahead and share your experiences down below. That would be cool. All right, so for today and happy Monday, I hope everyone has a good week, yeah. Monday. March 4th, 2019. I'm going to give this one more shuffle and then we'll see what we've got for the day. Okay. Here we go. Best messages, please, Spirit. Monday, March 4th, 2019. What's going on with the collective today? Monday, March 4th, 2019. Okay. There we go. All right, cool. And underneath the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. All right. So either this is being, experiencing some sort of mental entrapment, feeling like you're trapped somewhere, or it could be an energy of breaking out of some sort of mental entrapment. All right, let's see what else we have going on here. We have the Three of Cups the Four of Cups, and the Fool. It does look like so far, so far it looks like there's going to be some breaking through of blockages here, okay? Now, the Four of Cups is an energy of potentially a missed opportunity or unrequited love of some sort. In this deck, though, it looks as, it, to me, this, this represents a bit of emotional stability. Um, gaining control over the emotions, the thoughts, and the feelings of certain things. I, I, I do, I am seeing this, this card right now for the collective. This is, or for, at least for who I'm channeling for. This is representing um, gaining emotional balance in terms of some things that may have been emotionally tumultuous in the past. And that's, a lot of that is also coming from this Three of Cups here, which does symbolize um, in my opinion, this can symbolize the union between body, mind, and spirit, okay? And then you have the fool here, 
which is an energy of a brand new beginning, uh, um, starting on a new path, taking a leap of faith, going in a new direction. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Ooh, we have the Four of Wands in the reverse. We have the Page of Wands. We have Divine Wisdom, and underneath all of that, we have the Nine of Wands. And now the Four of Wands, I'm sorry, the Four of Cups can symbolize a, um, you know, uh, unrequited love or a missed opportunity or boredom. It could definitely be boredom. For some of you, I am picking up, I'm definitely picking up that there is a, um, a need or a want to move, to find a new place to live. Um, and this is specific for any sort of like roommate situation or maybe it's family, you know, with the Three of Cups here. Because other than, you know, the union between body, mind and spirit, this is the Three of Cups is an energy of celebration. And um, the thing about this Four of Cups is, yes, it's also it's speaking to um, like a missed opportunity or boredom or unrequited love, but it's also speaking to coming into balance with those emotions. And I feel like whatever this situation is, whether it's a home situation, whether it's like a family situation, it could even be a marriage or a long, or, or, or an established relationship. Um, it's been something that has been going on for a while. I feel like there's been contemplation here for quite a while. Either going through the paces of trying to make things work or just going through the motions of trying to like think it through and really understand before you make a decision. Which absolutely could be what this Eight of Swords energy was or is. I just, I still, I feel like you're breaking out of this Eight of Swords. Okay, with the Page of Wands here, this is self-discovery, but this is also going in a new direction. Um, seeing things clearly, actually, is what I just heard. Seeing things clear enough or clearer than you have in the past in order to be ready and willing to go in a new creative direction, to do something new, to try it, something new. Okay, and that's also the, the seeing things clearly is also represented here by this divine wisdom this card divine wisdom is a unique card in this deck it's one of a few unique cards sorry guys there's a snowblower going by um this is one of a few unique cards in this deck and this card represents um the greater wisdom the larger picture the lessons and the wisdom that the universe is and the divine really or have been working on ushering in for you it's seeing things from a, a bigger picture from a higher point of view i do want to i do want to clarify this four of wands a little bit more once we get into that such into that I think I want to clarify this four of wands specifically um, once we get into the clarification section because I do feel like it's more than just a home relationship uh, or, or like a home um, this could be a relationship with someone maybe a union um, like I said an established relationship It could have, it could speak to a marriage, but I'm gonna, I wanna clarify that a little bit more specific. But the final card we have here is the Nine of Wands. <coughs> so this is perseverance. Um, and with this card, I feel like whatever, whoever this is for, whatever the, uh, situation I'm channeling, this has been a long road. Like I said, with this um, Four of Cups energy, I think it was the Four of Cups energy, but um, there's an energy of having really stuck it out here. You know, go, come at it from every, or at least tried to come at it from every different angle in order to see if it could work out. But I think it's, I, I think what's happening here is you're finally starting to realize that the more you struggle against it, the worse it gets. 
it's almost a, it's like it's funny because I've been doing a bunch of readings and the hanged man would come out and I was ex I was explaining it to people in the sense that like I see the hanged man a lot of the time as being in a straight jacket or like a Chinese finger trap the more you struggle against it the tighter it gets but once you stop struggling and just start to like relax it loosens up and before you know it you're out of it and you didn't even you don't even know how you slipped out you know that kind of energy now the hanged man didn't come out here although it kind of feels like it might have this does definitely feel like a hanged man situation but most of that energy is coming from this eight of swords the eight of swords being that entrapment that stagnancy sort of um but the thing about the thing the thing that makes it different between like the eight of swords and the hanged man the hanged man you're stuck you're stagnant you're in a precarious position and you need to come to some sort of enlightenment or a, a different point of view to see your way out of that situation but the eight of swords you were never you were trapped but you were never really stuck like that forever you always had the power to get yourself out of that you just had to change again you had to change your focus but you had to be the one to actively cut yourself out of this situation and that's what's happening now for whoever this is especially with this fool energy here okay all right So let's get into some clarification. I'm going to use the unicorn tarot today. I want to start clarifying, and this I don't normally do it this way, but I want to start clarifying or clarification with this four of wands. I want to clarify the four of wands specifically. This is um, a home situation of some sort. Family, roommates, um, a, a partner, a lover, or it's something, I mean, the strongest thing that I'm getting is that it's a home situation of some sort. So some of you, someone could be moving, working on moving, trying to move, or just decided that they want to find a new place to live. That's the strongest one I'm getting. I, at, at the the very least, you've, you've finally made the decision that it's time to move, okay? Now, this could also be a romantic relationship, some sort of partnership that has been long, it's long standing. It could be a business partnership, um, uh, a friendship, some sort of relationship that has been long standing, um, but now is actually crumbling, coming to an end. And it's like someone is going off on their own. Maybe there was some sort of team situation here. What I'm, the, 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 okay, the example that I'm, I'm picking up is like when you have, we'll say, a boy band, you know, from like the, like the early 90s, you, you had all those pop bands, like boy bands, girl bands, whatnot. And they did well, you know, they got established, blah, 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 but then one of them goes off and leads a, a solo career, you know? That's what I'm seeing between this Four of Wands in reverse and the Page of Wands that's next to it. Also with the Divine Wisdom card, it's like someone has seen the light and is now moving in a different direction, okay? And the Fool here. It wasn't fulfilling enough. Whatever this situation was, whatever this social situation was, it was not fulfilling enough. And someone needed to come to some sort of emotional balance in order to really understand that. I feel like there was an energy of um, maybe you, for, I'm picking up now for while you were in this group, um, maybe you all kind of identified with this unsatisfied energy. And so that helped you, helped bring you guys together. But then somebody woke up, I guess, and figured out that the way you were going about it wasn't going to make anything any better. And so now it's time to move on. But the others are still kind of like putzing around in this group. You know what I mean? All right, so Four of Wands. What is this Four of Wands here, Spirit? What do we need to know about this Four of Wands here? Please, Spirit. Okay. The High Priestess, the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, wow. Look at that. The Hanged Man. Well, my, 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 isn't that just interesting? I was just talking about you. Okay. 
And then underneath the deck we have the Six of Pentacles. All right. Well, a balance between give and take here. And, and, and um, I think this was an energy of if this was a situation where there were people where, you know, people were around you that were kind of like, you know, I feel like whatever this is, <coughs> excuse me, whatever this is, it feels like it feels like a group that came together in some way. Um, and because they felt jaded, they felt bored, they felt taken advantage of maybe, but, but they took that and they used that as a way to take from people, to go around and create mischief or create havoc or, um, to just cre uh, spread malintent, um, you know, and, um, somebody learned from it you know, and is coming out, has gotten, has seen the light. The hanged man has seen the light and understand. Okay. Okay. And yeah, saw the light and, um, listened to the universe. There were a lot of downloads, a lot of secrets. Um, and this is something I feel like what I'm seeing with this high priestess energy, it's somebody that kind of fell back and got real quiet and was just observing for a while and was cause, cause something didn't seem right. And so you were just like watching, just like what's going on here. And eventually you kind of, you, you got it with the hanged man. You started to understand. And now you're changing the direction that your life is going, the outcome. You're changing what you're bringing back, what you're manifesting, what, what you're changing your karma almost. Um, through what is represented here as the Queen of Wands, which it, to me very much often represents the Law of Attraction. Um, there has been an epiphany. The Ace of Wands, you're desiring to move in a new direction, and so now you're changing your focus, you're changing your thoughts, you're changing your vibration. You're changing the way you approach life in order to manifest something better in order in order to change your luck basically with the wheel of fortune here okay that's really awesome that is actually really really awesome what else are we let's clarify let's now okay we're going to clarify the divine wisdom here and then we're going to clarify the fool to get some advice and as far as this new direction okay so divine wisdom what is it that you learned here ah the queen of cups very interesting knight of pentacles mm -hmm. oh goodness the king of wands look at that and the king of pentacles also all right so the queen of cups actually fell out on the fool so we're gonna get to that in a second so we have the counterparts here in the king and the queen of wands all right so what is this divine wisdom that you gained here? Okay, well, four of cups again, page of pentacles, ace of cups, knight of pentacles. Okay, so let's talk about this. Four of cups, unsatisfied. The reason why you were in this situation to begin with was because you were unsatisfied. And either, for some of you, this was, this was a, some sort of social circle. Um, it maybe it was family and maybe it wasn't the fact that you were unsatisfied, but you didn't necessarily have the means to I, I'm feeling like for some of you that you were Maybe staying with family or living with family because you maybe you had to or it was easier. It was more cost-effective But regardless of those circle of the specific circumstances there was a breakdown and someone started to realize that they that this was not a, the best environment for them. That an awakening happened, okay? And I'm seeing it's like an awakening throughout the chaos of this situation here. Um, the constant bemoaning, I feel like, is part of it for some of you. So then, now, the really cool thing here is, look at this Four of Cups. Now, this is how the Four of Cups is usually depicted. Somebody is focused on these Three of Cups while the universe is trying to hand you this one Ace of Cups here. And that Ace of Cups that the universe is trying to hand in some decks is 
more ornate than the three cups down here that this person is often focused on. And so it's, it, 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 it um, speaks to the cup here that's trying to be offered potentially could be better for you than what you were focused on in the three of cups here. And the three of cups is definitely that social atmosphere, right? It could also represent the, the balance of body, mind, and spirit. But here it's the so, it's some sort of social atmosphere, yes? But now you have the ace of cups. Somebody has chosen to focus on this ace of cups, to focus on the cup that the universe has been trying to hand to them for so long. And maybe it's a, it's a situation in which now you finally understand what is happening or you've finally been catalyzed into focusing on your own cup, changing how you view the situation, changing how you treat yourself, and ultimately changing your luck here with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Um, and then, so now we have a level up, Page of Pentacles, um, deciding to move on to something new, committing to yourself, honesty, committing to your integrity, um, committing to doing the hard work, and, and moving forward, okay? Page of Pent, uh, no, I'm sorry, Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race, okay? Blueprinting, planning. This is not something that has to happen right away. It, it's going to take some time, but ultimately that's okay because you're willing, you're willing to take action now. You have this balance between the King and the Queen of Wands. You have the balance of masculine and feminine energies within. That's beautiful, okay? You're taking, you're ready to take the action here. This divine wisdom that has set in for you has said, okay, it's time to move. It's time to move. And you have the King of Pentacles, which here is speaking to um, greater manifestation. You're well manifested. You're well, you're well uh, grounded, actually. Very well grounded. You understand what's going on. You understand what you need to do moving forward. You're willing to do the work moving forward. You're willing to really commit to this and commit to having a better life for yourself and potentially your family. Okay? So, now let's get to the fool. I just want to clarify the fool and then we can move forward. We already have the Queen of Cups coming out and falling on the fool, but it's falling crossed. So what I'm getting from that so far is somebody in this new journey that you're embarking on, I do feel like you understand that compassion and empathy is needed. But with it crossed here, I do feel like you're, you're, very, you're kind of guarded. You are, your eyes are open and you're willing to give emotionally. You're willing to be nurturing and compassionate and be like help people heal and whatnot because water tends to uh, represent healing. But you're not giving in the same way that you used to. So what that means in relation to this, this situation that we're talking about here. In the past, you gave of your compassion, your understanding, your empathy to whoever this group was or whatever this situation was. Number one, because you kind of identified with it. But number two, you recognized that they needed companions or they needed healing. They needed compassion, blah, blah, blah. And you wanted to be the one to help them with that. That's beautiful. But now it's almost as if you've kind of gotten burned a little bit, just a little bit. I'm not saying it's been burned too much, but you got, you kind of, you got singed a little bit. Okay. You learned a good lesson here and you haven't lost your compassion, but now you're crossed. You're like, you're not willing to give it, give of it so much or so easily as you have in the past. And that's actually a really good way to start this new cycle for yourself. It's just a guarded nature, um, extra, a little bit extra defenses and that's okay. Because it's not like you're jaded here. It, I don't feel like whoever this is that they're jaded here. But it's just they're wiser. Boop. Divine wisdom. Yes. Let's see what else this fool has to say for you guys. What is this fool here, spirit? The emperor. Wow. Well, there you go. Taking your power back, y'all. I mean, that's... Oh, my goodness. There is so much balance here. Okay, look, the Queen of Pentacles just came out and the King of Pentacles, right? The King of Pentacles was just here. Wow. This is beautiful, you guys. Hold on, there's one, there's some more cards here. Excellent, oh my God, excellent, 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 excellent. It really looks like whoever this is for you or maybe this is someone that you're, you're connected with or someone that's moving away from you, um, 
oh shoot, what was I gonna say? Oh, well, you're really balanced. You're moving on very quickly, very well. Oh goodness, yeah, talk about balance. Temperance, all right? So there needs to be um, a bit of patience here with this situation, but ultimately it's gonna be okay. Six of Swords is in reverse here. That's interesting. That is quite interesting. But let's see what else we have. We have the Chariot and the Seven of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. We have Judgment and we have the Emperor. But we also have the Six of Swords in reverse. And now the Six of Swords fell out in reverse on this Four of Cups here. What I'm getting Okay, what I'm getting with this Six of Swords in reverse, falling on this Four of Cups here. This crew, I, I, I feel like you've finally come to the understanding that this crew, this situation, this group of people, this household, these family members, whatever this is, they're not going to change. You've come to the realization that they're not, they're going to stay in the drama. They're going to stay in the turmoil. Six of Swords in reverse. The Six of Swords talks about moving from rough waters to calmer waters. They're not budging. And I think you finally understood that. And you've decided to stop fighting against that. And go in your own direction. You heard the call from the universe. Judgment. And you're taking your power back. And you're like, you know what? I don't need to be subject to this any longer. I'm good. I'm going to move on. Okay. You have the compassion and the empathy and the understanding of the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is adding that extra hard shell, is adding that extra, uh, extra form of discernment here for you. Because the Queen of Pentacles understands hardship. She's of the earth, okay? But she's not someone that's going to stand for anyone's bullshit. She's not going to allow herself to be taken advantage of as soon as she recognizes that her kindness is being taken for weakness, she will cut you off. And she's a tough cookie to let, op to, 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 to open back up, to have open back up, okay? I mean, I mean, she's tough. She's very much the person that would say to you, fool me once, shame on me. I'm sorry, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And don't even think about there being a third time, <laughs> right? Okay, and then you have the chariot with the seven of wands. If there is any sort of opposition that you have, maybe if these people are arguing, arguing with you or saying, you know, or making you feel like you're abandoning them in some way or whatnot, whatever. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I don't really see you taking that. Um, your defenses are up. You know exactly what you want to do. You know what you need to do. You're divinely guided here and you understand that. And so I really do see if there's any sort of drama associated with you moving on here, I don't see you giving into it or even allowing yourself to be affected too much by it. Because you know, because you recognize the pattern now, you recognize, you know what's ex exactly what's happening. And so it's kind of like, I know this is, if, if uh, what I'm seeing is if there were to be, or if there has been that kind of energy where they're trying to like make you feel guilty, you're like sitting, you're just kind of like standing there, like just watching in the back of your head saying, this is exactly what I'm trying to get away from, <laughs> which is beautiful. Good on you. Cause your eyes are open and that's great. Alrighty. So I want to close the reading out today with a card from the Crystal Mandala deck here. All right. Okay. I just want to get some advice or some encouragement or maybe some confirmation even about who, what, whoever this is, this new journey that you're moving forward with, this new phase in your life, changing your, your luck. Lots of balance between masculine and feminine energy. You had the king and the queen of wands. You also had the king and the queen of pentacles. The king of pentacles was underneath the deck when we were clarifying this divine wisdom over here. Lots of balance between masculine and feminine energy within. 
and that's beautiful. So best message from spirit, please, in regards to this reading here, in regards to this change, this shift, this new, this leap of faith here, spear of the guru mother. That's awesome. Oh my God, yes. Okay, card number 52, which is a seven, which is luck, wisdom, divine wisdom, lessons, Okay, here we go. Spear of the Guru Mother. We bring you the empowerment of Spear of the Guru Mother. Sometimes there is so much choice that we struggle to commit. It is often not an issue of unwillingness to make an effort, but concern that the choice might not be the quote, right choice. We pray to the universe to be shown what to do according to a wisdom greater than our own. Although our free will is always in place, we are able to ask, I'm sorry, we are able to accept a task d divinely given or reject it. The universe answers every prayer. In your heart, you have been asking for guidance to be shown what you need to do in a particular situation, perhaps more generally, in your life at this time. You want to know the best way forward so your actions are in alignment with heaven. In response, you have now become the spear of the Guru Mother. The spear of the Guru Mother is the direct focused and clear task given to you by a fiercely compassionate divine feminine. The Guru Mother is the unconditionally loving guide who will protect your soul, keeping you on the straight and narrow, spiritually speaking, and ensure that your efforts bring you the best spiritual results and not lead you off into a distracting and ultimately unnecessary tangent. Although you can choose whether or not you wish to accept the task, know that it has been divinely bestowed upon you. How do you know which task this is? Look to your life. What's happening? What's possible for you to act upon? Where is your growth edge? What are you currently empowered to do? There's your task. Do what you can and do it now. The Oracle also comes to you with this understanding. If the divine gives you a task, you can handle it. Even if you're going to need to grow, you have it within to complete it successfully. When the universe gives you an opportunity or life situation to work through, it is giving you a vote of confidence. The Divine Mother says to you, here is my will. I'll empower you. Now go for it. If you want to take her advice, don't hesitate or doubt. Be as focused and forward moving as if you were the spear that she had thrown with her almighty hand and flawless aim, heading straight towards the center of the target. When the Oracle of the Spear of the Guru Mother comes to you, you are being told your efforts have divine power behind them. The situations in your life you are willing to grapple with are going to resolve far more quickly and potentially, I'm sorry, and potently than, might, than you might have believed possible. The power of your own efforts, amplified with divine will, creates extraordinary movement. Distraction, procrastination, and hesitation shall not touch you. Your focus will be complete and your task shall be attained. The trust you feel in yourself and the divine will and the divine will increase because of this. You will gain more confidence in yourself. You'll become game for bigger and bolder challenges. The universe will be able to ask more of you and give you more because you shall be increasingly open to it. The risk you take at this time with absolute intention will bring you so much more than resolution of the task at hand. All right, guys, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope everyone has a great day. Please keep an eye out for the monthly Zodiacs. I am going to be rolling those out throughout the week. I have the first three up, uh, Pisces, Aries, and Taurus. If you haven't checked those out yet, go right ahead and do so. If you would like a uh, reading, a personal reading with me, go ahead and send me an email. All of the information is in the description box below. I love you guys so much, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah, take care. Mwah! Bye.